What's going on everybody? Today I'm here to talk about a coaster that is near and dear to all of our hearts. Well, if you live in the Hershey area at least. Today I'm going to be talking about Super Duper Looper. Now let's roll that intro. Ladies and gentlemen, how about some stats for you? Super Duper Looper is 2,614 feet in length, has a 75 foot drop that is due on the whole way down, reaches speeds of 45 miles per hour, and has one fantastic loop. It was manufactured by Schwarzkopf, which I can't say properly, but it doesn't matter. And you know what? You'd think it's a pretty intense ride. You know, got all those great Schwarzkopfs out there. But guess what? Only like one eighth of it is, but that doesn't matter because it's a great family coaster. And if you have junior coaster enthusiasts, guess what? This is a perfect ride for them. Personally, this was the first ride that I went on that was upside down. And I feel a lot of other people in this area of the Hershey area, you know, experience that as well. So, you know, what makes it even better is it's classified as a terrain coaster and that's right and it's great because it has a tunnel that's pretty lit Bruh. is the cool people say I'm not cool so I can't say it and uh yeah that's it goes next to the river it's cool the helix at the end is like it's fun ride it um <laughs> also it interacts with great bear and coal cracker and a lot of the midway you know so that's amazing um <clears throat> so you know what enough talk it's time to enough stop. with that talk let's get to the POV alright so after going up the super fun and loud lift hill you go left and you go down that drop which is amazing at least slow ish whatever and then you go into the loop, which is the main part of the ride because it's super duper looper and it's really fun and amazing. And you go up, bank left, have a fun time, you know, get some breaks and trims, you know, who knows. Um, then you go through the loop and then you, you meander around a little more, you know, look at this speed, it's probably 90 miles per hour. Go through the tunnel, which is really fun and that other word I can't say. And then you go left and right and down and you pick up a little speed here. Go over what I think are more breaks. I'm not sure. You have to check me on that. Go down to the left, up another hill, and then you go down into the helix, which is really fun and intense. And you can, uh, yeah, it's fun. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you reach the final break run, which is really long and slow and annoying. Also, sometimes people get stuck there because it's an old ride. But don't worry about that. That won't happen to you. So, honestly, there is no reason to hate this ride or not ride it unless you know you can't ride coasters if not rest in peace because it's a classic it's smooth and just fun all around you can't argue with that but you can because it's america and there's freedom of speech but this is exactly what i look for in a family coaster unless you don't like going upside down then you'd hate this even though you shouldn't because hating rides that go upside down is bad even though all my friends do <clears throat> you know also the terrain coaster part really helps because if it wasn't then this would be a terrible ride but having a lot of stuff to look at and it being interesting makes it so much better <coughs> oh my god I'm dying here guys Whew. that's tough you know if I could rate it out of 10 which I can because they have freedom of speech I give it an 8 and you want to know why well I just explained it so go uh, view the video again please but no, it, it's because it's a classic, especially in this area. I'm pretty confident it was like the first major looping coaster on the East Coast. You can fact check me on that. Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's been around for a long time. It's still running great. It's super smooth and pretty intense for like what kind of ride it is. So, you know, really packs a punch in there, you know. So, you know, just just a little food for thought, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, you know. See you next time. Thanks for watching.
Peace out.